all-star performance at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Now, I think all year long we have well documented that the temperatures inside these new cars that we're racing full-time is much hotter than the old car, and then add in the fact the unleaded fuel really raises the exhaust gas temperatures, so we're definitely dealing with hotter temperatures. And then, Chad, we go to Martinsville next week, uh, a short track, and then throw in the fact of, of road courses, there's a lot of things that even generate more heat inside these cars at short tracks and road courses. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with the, uh, the RPMs that we run. You know, you start to get the oil temperatures up a little bit hotter. The car doesn't actually have as much air flowing over it, around it, and underneath it. So those heat, the heat actually heat sinks up into the driver's compartment, gets up onto the driver's back from the oil tank. You've got uh, gear and transmission coolers that you run that put more heat up into the driver's compartment. So there's a lot of things that adds to that. And then you've got, obviously, just your brake heat. All of that stuff just starts to radiate, and it gets into the driver's compartment, and it gets pretty hot. Now, Booty, I know one thing that has teams, they have them re a little reluctant to add things to keep the driver comfortable is we're so weight conscientious with this new car. But if your driver's overheating and fatigue because of heat, uh, the lightest car in your fleet's not going to do you a whole lot of good out on the racetrack. Scott Wimmer, years ago, I was such a bad guy, let's just say, that I wouldn't even let him run an air conditioner because I didn't want to wait. What happened with about 10 laps to go, he almost melted. And obviously, he couldn't race that way. So you have to make sure your driver's comfortable. Now, Chad, let's talk about some of the products we have here. It's a product from the Cool Mat Company, which is also a part of BSR mm -hmm. products. Let's talk about the Cool Mat product itself here. Now, it's a pretty neat woven blend, and it's got a, a, a fiber inside here and then a rubber backing. And what you do is you put this on the race car when the metal is basically new and you try to adhere it to the car. They're saying that the actual heat radiant difference that you have from this is almost a 60% change from the lower side where the heat is to the upper side where the driver would be sitting. Yeah, and they tell me that the life of this is probably about the life of the race car, that it will, la uh, it, it will last forever, and, and it will withstand about 1,000 degrees because it's a, it's a composite material. It's a, it's a very, very tough piece, and as you can see, the, the resistance comes a lot from this rubber backing that they've got on here. This stuff is very, very durable. Now, Booty, over there, you've got a material uh, that's called the NASA Shield. It's been around for about 10 or 12 years. It actually is derived, uh, formatted for racing, but derived from space shuttles. Absolutely. What it does is you place this on top of your exhaust. What happens is your exhaust is placed under the ra race car, and you have a steel floorboard. If you don't have anything through that, the heat goes from the exhaust and conducts through the steel to the driver. But what this does is reflects the heat away. So when you put it on top, instead of that heat radiating to the driver, it goes the other way. And all of these things that we have are basically trying to make sure that you don't have a conductor. You, they're all insulators or they reflect the heat. An uh, insulator, of course, will make sure it doesn't determine or it doesn't move that heat from whatever it is to the driver. A conductor such as steel, aluminum, copper, anything will just move that heat directly from whatever the source is directly to the driver. Yeah, I've been told that exhaust gas temperatures in the exhaust pipe, they can be almost 350 degrees on the top side of that shield when you install it it could reduce it by almost 200 degrees. Now, while we're talking to booty, and on the subject of booties, how about the driver booties you have there, uh, booty? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, booties. Booty. Uh, they have cool mat on the bottom right here, as we've already documented. They reduce, they insulate his foot from the rest of the car. And a place like Daytona or Talladega, these are particularly critical because their heel is resting on the floorboard the entire time because you hold it wide open the entire time. So that, that is a place where you would definitely need these the most so, and the cool mat helps insulate. Now let's take a look at the shifter boot that we have here that uh, serves two purposes. Yeah, and it, it, it's very, very similar. The thing you have to realize is that the transmission, the exhaust gas, all of that stuff emits a lot of heat. Well, obviously, where the shifter handle comes through the floorboard of the car, there's a big hole. You have to be able to shift. Well, you have to put something there to cover that hole. So this is obviously the shifter boot. Now you can see that it's got the cool mat material on the outside of this, but the thing that's unique about it is if you look on the inside, this is a fire resistant material that we've got on the inside of this, and it's also reflective. So the reflectiveness pushes the heat back underneath the race car, and then if something is to happen and it does catch on fire, it'll actually kind of resist that, give the driver just a little bit of extra protection right underneath there. Now, Booty, if you want to go a little bit deeper with the cool mat material, we have this piece of uh, material here that has a 900-degree air gap in between. Right. It's essentially like a fiber board. And you notice this little gap right here, or this little space right here, this honeycomb, so to speak. What that's doing as well is putting a, a, a space of air 
in between the cool mat and the driver's wheel. What that does, of course, is kind of like your skin. You blow, blow air over it, it moves that heat. And, and that is just another layer or another uh, aspect of insulation to keep that driver, whisk away that heat before it ever gets there. Yeah, and that's a Nomex panel. Now, we have one other uh, cool mat product here that I'm sure Jeff Andrews and the boys in the engine <laughs> shop are probably glad to see. Yeah, basically what this is, it's a sleeve that goes over the top of the spark plug wire and boot. Now, obviously, the, where the spark plug is located into the cylinder head, it's got two exhaust pipes running right next to it. So what you do is you take this sleeve, you slide it over the spark plug wire and all the way down to the cylinder head. A lot of times what can happen is you can get rubber buildup, you can get debris, you can get things going down and setting on top of the, on top of the headers, and they'll catch on fire. This right here will actually help protect that if it does happen to catch on fire and you get a little you know, fire underneath the hood and just that heat, the radiant heat. It's like what Booty said about the uh, honeycomb board. Anytime that you get an air gap, air is actually a great insulator. It starts to break down the heat. Once you get that air gap right in there, that makes it a lot cooler on the inside of that. Yeah, Chad, I was talking to Booty about how weight conscientious we are, especially with this new car. Obviously, if you used all this material, there's definitely going to be weight that's added, but it's not in the, the worst uh, place of the race car. No, but honestly, I think with all the stuff that we're putting on the car, we're probably going to put a heater in there because I think you've dropped the, you know, between 60% there and... <laughs> 900 degrees yeah, there, and he's freezing. How much was it? Yeah, we're gonna have to get a little heater. So there. We're gonna we may add have even to install weight. some of this stuff up on the uh, up on the pit box yeah, as we well, might. just to keep you a little bit cool. <laughs> okay, now coming up at the top of the hour, NASCAR race day, built by the Home Depot, Jr.